Today's storm obviously left behind a lot of water and a huge mess on the streets of Orange County. And as you know, more rain is on the way. Tonight, KCAL 9 Orange County reporter Stacy Butler is live in a trouble spot in Seal Beach. Stacy. Yes, yeah, Susie Cruz right now taking advantage of this break in the rain. You can see this backhoe here just dug a massive hole. They've got the pump there. You see the hose in there. It is slowly draining this massive pool, threatening oceanfront homes. This water now heading back to the ocean. It's heavy. It's scary. Pounding rain in Seal Beach tonight had locals running for cover and taking chances driving through flooded intersections, uncertain just how deep they were. The driving, the way people drive, it's, it, that's what makes me nervous because there's all these people that never are around rain, you know, and, and rain comes out and they all go crazy. Driving sucks. For sure. Driving's terrible. Storm after storm this week dumped four inches of rain on the tiny beach town. As a flash flood watch continues, deep water pulled dangerously close to oceanfront homes near the pier. Anxious locals watched the water finally recede late this afternoon, but then at six o'clock tonight, it poured again, filling the pool, threatening homes. I'm going slower through the puddles, but definitely lots of water, and especially in Seal Beach, it gets flooded really quickly. <laughs> Earlier today, Orange County Fire Authority crews filled sandbags for locals looking to shore up against the next round. Pretty wet and cold. <laughs> what do you think about it? Uh, I hope it ends. Get some beach time. We need this. It's brilliant, actually. Have you had any Besides problems? Besides the with floods down the road, um, we need this. I love it. Crews are determined to drain this massive and deep pool here right in front of the oceanfront homes before the next round of storms. They tell me if they have to, they plan to be here all night.